Welcome. Today we're going to be calculating the perimeter with unknown sides. So the perimeter is the distance around an object. And in order to find the perimeter, all you simply have to do is add every single side of an object together. So we are given an object here. It's a six-side object. But uh, however, we are only given four dimensions. So we could see over here, this first side is 32.4 centimeters. This side is 7.8 centimeters. The bottom is 17.2 centimeters. And the other side is 12.5 centimeters. Now what we don't know are the remaining two sides. We have a problem. So we don't know this side, and we don't know that side. So we're going to have to figure out a way to calculate those. But we can start off with our addition of the other side. So let us begin. We will ha start at the top of 32.4 centimeters. And then we're going to add 7.8 centimeters. And 4 plus 8 is 12. Carry the 1, which gives us 10 and 40.2. Then we're going to add the other known side, which is 17.2 centimeters. And add this, we have 4. 0 plus 7 is 7. And we have 57.4. And then we're going to have the last side, which is 12.5 centimeters. And add it all up. And we are given 69.9 centimeters. Now, we still need to figure out the other two sides. They are still unknown. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, the question is, what do you know about these sides? So I'm just going to erase the highlights over here. And we'll begin. So let's start off with figuring out this side right here. Now, how are we going to do that? Here's the two things that we do know. We do know that on the opposite side of the unknown side, it is 12.5 centimeters. Okay, And we also know that part of that is 7.8 centimeters over here. So what we're going to do is we know that if this was hypothetically a square, so that this side over here was actually attached over here, that we know that this distance over here is 7.8 centimeters. So right around there, we have this whole entire thing. So we need to figure out, again, the remaining where this highlighted area is right over there. So how do we figure that out? We know that 7.8 centimeters is already measured. On the other side, this is 7.8. We know that the total distance of the whole entire side is 12.5 centimeters. So we could subtract it. We could subtract 12.5 minus 7.8. And this will give us the remaining distance of the unknown side that we're trying to figure out. So 12.5 minus 8 is 7. We can cross that out. We have 11. And we have 4.7. So we now know that the remaining side, the unknown side, is 4.7 centimeters. And we could check it. So if we were to add. 4.7 and 7.8, which would be the equal distance to this side over here again. We know that should equal 12.5. So let's check it. 7.8 plus 4.7 is going to equal 12.5. So we've solved the unknown. So now we could add this side to our perimeter. We have 69.9, add 4.7 since we found one of the unknown sides. 9 plus 7, 16, bring the decimal down, 
14, and we have 74.6. Now we have one more side remaining to figure out. Okay, and we're going to do the exact same thing as we did before. So, what do we know? We know that this whole entire side equals 32.4 centimeters. We know that partially, if we look at the other side, that it equals 17.2. So we need to find the dis difference of the remaining side. How do we find the difference? Calculating the difference is subtracting. So we're going to take 32.4 centimeters, we're going to subtract 17.2 centimeters, and that will give us the remainder of the unknown side. So we go with 32.4 minus 17.2. Our subtraction, 4 minus 2 is 2. Bring our decimal down. We need to substitute 12 minus 7 is 5, and the remainder, or 2 minus 1 is 1. So we found that the unknown side up top here is 15.2 centimeters. Now we can add this to our perimeter, 15.2, and in the end we have 89. 0.8 centimeters as our parameter. So, just to recap, in order to figure out the unknown sides, take a look at the opposite side of the unknown, and you have to basically find the difference. So you're going to subtract the larger number by the smaller number, and then you'll have the unknown sides.